On today's video, I want to show you the first e-commerce website that I've designed on Webflow and honestly it was so simple. Let me show you how I did this. Hey everybody, what's up? So I'm pretty excited. This week I've concluded the work on the first e-commerce project I did on Webflow. It's honestly actually the first e-commerce website that I ever did. So I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't know how to build an e-commerce website, but it was so simple and straightforward with Webflow's new e-commerce system. So I wanna show you how that worked out, how that looked, and then kind of like my takeaways or thoughts about this e-commerce platform in general. So let's jump right into this. So let me just show you. So this is basically the website is for a skincare product called Nalan. And um, this is basically the website. And uh, we have here the shop. So basically there's basically a custom menu that comes here and there's currently only four products, actually three products and a package. Then when you click here, each of them has kind of a, a very custom product page. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty long and um, custom designs. So we have this slider here. We also have this kind of a light box model with images of the product. Um, then there's a bunch of info here that is unique to each one of the products, including what's inside and then a full ingredient list. Um, and as you might see, when we go to a different product, then uh, this list is different, this image is different, the list of ingredients and full list of ingredients is different. Um, so the pages are pretty custom designed. There is no really a template of an e-commerce going on here. Um, so let me show you basically how I did this. So the way this um, e-commerce system work in Webflow is pretty much like the CMS collection works. And if you don't know what the CMS is, basically what you have, and let me show you here in the e-commerce, we have products and those are the products. Basically, you have kind of a list of all the, when you set up the, let's, how do I do the setup um, here? So basically those are the fields that you have. So obviously in an e-commerce system, you have basic ones like price description and maybe size uh, of the project. But just like any other um, content that you manage with Webflow, you can add as many fields as you want. So in this case, I've added a bunch more images that I want. We had this kind of a Sanskrit word. We had lists of badges. We had the image and title of the value proposition and all kinds of lists such as benefits and, and what's inside. So I've created a custom, basically a custom structure for this product. <clears throat> then as you can see, I've basically went down and put down all the information. But the structure of this is pretty custom and unique so that in every product page, you then go to a project project template, um, you customize it and you just put down the information. So here, as you can see, we have a list. This is the list of badges that you can see here that's pulling from the um, the database that I've created. So every project, uh, every product will um, bring in their own list of badges here. Each different product will have a different image here and a different uh, title here. So this is really ends up as a very, very custom template. Now, the way that at the shopping cart and all of that works uh, with Webflow. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's basically um, a kind of a widget that you add. Basically, I've edited it here in the, um, in the menu. Um, and that is a symbol, so it repeats on every page. Basically, when, when you customize this, you can choose how you want this cart to look like. So it can come from the right, from the left, it can come as a pop-up, and then you can animate. And um, obviously you can, let me open that up. You can change all the styles here and how this looks, but the presets are pretty handy. So you don't have to handle the animation and the, the structure is basically done for you. Um, so as I said, again, this was pretty simple to do, even though it was my first e-commerce project. The, the process that I used to do this was the first define the structure of the CMS, the one that I showed you earlier based on the original design and, and kind of like what we wanted each custom page to show. Then I've created it, um, created it, put down the information, and then designed once I had the content inside the system. Um, apart from that, this 
uh, website also includes a blog. So we have here a blog page, still not a lot of content, um, and the about page. So pretty, pretty custom website. And I feel like the result is really nice for a website they took about I estimate less than 10 hours to completely transfer from the design into a fully functional website. Part of the, once I finished the design, I kind of went, there is a pretty easy step-by-step -step process that Webflow has here that you have to go through everything. And this I did together with the client because you have to put in their business address, connect it to their Stripe um, account, decide on shipping methods. And again, these are things that I didn't, th this was the first time. So I went through this together with the client, but it was pretty straightforward to understand them and understand how you want to calculate shipping and taxes. So it's very easy when it's uh, kind of <clears throat> in a step-by-step -step process done for you. So I'm pretty excited this website is now live. The checkout isn't open yet because they're still uh, working out all their inventory, but um, should be in business in the next couple of weeks. And I'm excited about this. Kind of like reviewing this as as a system, um, I think this brand is is a new brand, pretty boutique brand that can really benefit from having a custom designed, um, you know, custom design product pages and checkout experience. So for them, I think it's a good fit. I don't have experience working with big e-commerce platform like Shopify with tons of plat uh, plugins and stuff like that. But I do know from discussion with this client that they didn't really need this and they really um, enjoy the fact that I've kind of did kind of a quick training for them and now they're able to even edit and update their own website themselves. For, so for them, having the value of a template which they can manage and they're not structured or limited by the platform for them that was a pretty big valuable thing so they're happy with it and uh for me it was yeah it was a good experience again i can't i feel like i can uh, honestly compare this to other systems because i didn't have experience with it but as a first experience building e-commerce websites um i'm pretty happy with this i'm actually looking for the time when uh, Webflow allows this to sell digital products, um, because right now it's basically for sh goods which you ship, um, but I'm looking forward for them to enable the digital products because I'm thinking actually about selling my own product using the e-commerce system. So I'm pretty excited and looking forward for the development of this platform. If you have any questions regarding the e-commerce in general, all the process that I use for it, please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you on the next video.